Hey there, back at you today with some more RTD News updates. And today's article has to do with the current Venezuelan crisis, dealing with the implementation of a new form of currency. Well, in actuality, nothing new but the same old thing. And before I get into the articles, I want to inform you of the RTD University. Uh, you can find the link below. My goal with that is to basically put everything together in one location where everyone can go and get an idea of what the rethinking the dollar concept is all about. So before we get any further, if you're new to RTD, click the subscribe button. Also, share your comments on this video. I would love to hear your take. Let's dive into the articles. All right, today I have uh, two actual articles but in a third um, location where I pretty much I'm going to go through the CPI and show how this whole crisis here in Venezuela is nothing new. It's actually kind of old, but yet the same thing keeps recurring. And so both articles here are from La Pretilla, uh, dot com, a Venezuelan newspaper source down there. And it has to say uh, the bank, uh, central bank of uh, Venezuela progressively incorporates currencies of 10, 50, and 100 bolivars. And so it looks like they're going to be removing their current um, paper uh, denominated currencies of 10, 50, and 100 and put them in, putting them in coin form uh, because the next article says here that, that the government will announce in January the exact date in which uh, the new tickets will come to the street, um, that they will have the new... 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, and 20,000 bolivars. And so these actual pieces of paper here are the same exact models as the prior edition, but just, they just added, you know, a couple zeros. So we added two zeros to the five, three zeros, or uh, two zeros to the 10, two zeros to the 20, two zeros to So it basically added two zeros. And here with this, well, this one here, they act, oh, it's, it's totally new altogether. But before I go any further, I want to actually give you a little historical account of prior hyperinflations that have happened in Venezuela. And here I have a graph from Trading Economics that kind of you know lays out the last you know 40 years or so of the Venezuelan economy. And this whole scenario of you know adding additional numbers to their currency is nothing new. So here we have uh, back in the late 80s, there was another hyperinflation type of event where the CPI got above 100. And so, of course, there was, you know, turmoil and, you know, uh, shortage of supplies and things like that. The currency was no good. And then uh, the, the one prior to the current one uh, was is what brought Hugo Chavez uh, into power. And that right there, hyperflation was above 100 as well. So within the last 30 years, there's been three or, you know, two, two minor ones with one huge one that they're experiencing right now. But all three events have led to the destruction of the current uh, paper system and implemented a new paper system. And so when you type in Venezuela banknotes into Google, just to get an idea of you know what some of the history has been over the last uh, you know a couple of decades, you get a variety and a, uh, a huge assortment of colorful paper. And so here, here's a banknote here, an older note, and this was issued in 2001, which is uh, which is following the crisis that occurred right here. And so basically this whole idea of just them implementing new, you know, currency or whatnot is nothing new at all. Because if you scroll throughout these different uh, forms of paper, they're, you know, all relatively new. But we got 2,000 here. We got a 10,000 here. And here's the original 100 Bolivar note, which is no longer, you know, in circulation or it's in circulation, but it's not worth anything. Then you have an older $100 Bolivar. So the same patriarch of theirs, whoever this gentleman was, Mr. Bolivar, I'm assuming, he, you know, was on the face of all these bills, but yet they continually continue to just devalue them and issue new and more colorful paper. So, um, you know, just an idea of what the history, history behind Venezuela is, you know, on the surface. And so let's get into this article a little bit more in depth and get an idea of what they're saying down there in regards to the 10, 50 and uh, the 100 Bolivar. And so it says Central Bank of Venezuela today officially announced the incorporation of the 10, 50 and 100 Bolivar currency. Uh, this is, this measure will make the payment system more efficient, facilitate commercial transactions according to the statement released by the bank BCV. It says this Wednesday, a trader from uh, downtown Caracas showed EFE the new currencies of 50 bolivars and said that he obtained them when a man who left a bank near his business asked him to change these pieces for notes. The BCV uh, communicates indicates that they the main face of these new currencies are eight stars of the national flag. The text Bolivar Libertado and the mint mark of the Casa de la Manadea de Venezuela. They also uh, include the effigy of the country's liberator, Simon Bolivar, and the identification of a French engraver, uh, Albert Ambert. So 
the gentleman that I was referring to is Simon Bolivar. So just an idea as to what's going on here is it says in the communication, the BCV does not refer to the issuance of the five, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 bolivars. They are not yet in circulation. So that heads right over to the next article, which was released uh, yesterday. And it, it, it shows the, the face of the new bolivars with the new Simon Bolivar 20,000 note, or not new, but just reissued. So it says the president of uh, the Republic of Nicolás Maduro announced Thursday in the national radio television network that in January 2017 will announce the exact date when uh, the new tickets will arrive. Statements were offered on purpose to enact uh, an extension of the current circulation of the uh, the current hundred dollar bolivar to January 20th. So now it looks like they're going to allow the hundred bolivar notes to you know be used until January 20th, as opposed to the prior you know three four day notice of the cancellation or expiration of those notes. It is worth remembering that it was the president of the Central Bank of Venezuela, Nelson Marentes, who had said during the presentation of the new currency that they uh, entered the circulation on December 15th. So it look like, looks like some miscommunication there initially because these notes were supposed to be out this month. Later, his words were reiterated by the national president. It says, the date, to date, they have arrived in the country five planes. So they flew in five planes with alleged shipment of new bills with the first four alleged pieces of 500 and the last uh, who arrived on Thursday assumption tickets of 5,000, 20,000 bolivar. However, today, December 29th, they have not been in circulation. So they flew in five planes of paper with higher denomination notes to give to the people to kind of, you know, I guess in their opinion, solve the hyperinflation problem there. What in actuality, it's the same old thing. So once people realize that these notes, you know, won't really hold their value either because the country is in dire straits and dire need, they're going to just continue to just ship in more planes of paper to try to, you know, cover up, you know, the, the chaos and madness there when it comes to their economy there with more paper. So it won't last long. But just want to give you an inside look as to what's happening in Venezuela and as well as, you know, India is going through similar uh, cash crunch where they actually are lacking enough cash in circulation so all these events are taking place as we conclude 2016 and so in my opinion 2017 will be a year of um more events like this where more countries will come out having currency issues because their governments are broke and the central banks uh, only can do is just print 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 so anyway i would love to hear your thoughts on this little short uh, video here uh leave me a comment below and if you're new to rtd subscribe for more rtd news updates as well as uh, take a time and uh, visit the rtd university page i'd love to hear your thoughts on that as well so other than that until we meet again